Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are back with more Guren Laga. I will be watching episode 17 and 18 because we are skipping episode 16. You guys told me that it's basically a recap episode and I will be skipping intro of episode 17. So I guess we will have new intro that is spoilery. So yeah, I will avoid that as well. Episode Episodes 14 and 15 were absolutely amazing. It really felt like a series finale. Even though uh, we were close to Spiral King, right? I did not expect that kind of conclusion to those episodes. I was for, I was for sure thinking that Spiral King will be like the endgame opponent, right? But in reality, it turns out that we defeated some somebody so powerful and he hinted an even greater danger that is coming that can perhaps be tied to the very beginning of the episodes and those battles in the like space or ga and the galaxy's destruction and all of that so it's basically like setting stage for something beyond crazy man and it's basically like hyping me up in a sense that it's like show is telling me oh you didn't see anything yet man just you wait but so far it has been such a crazy ride man spiral king was such a menace he was a truly monster man and i low-key still think that he was stronger despite like simon's and guren lagan's like absolute insane performance man especially when they were blocking uh his gigantic drill with their tiny one right when they were like going right at tip to tip of the drills man like the as i said the drill struggle that was so fucking insane and when he exited his um his gunman right what was the name of it like laser gun or something like that it's kind of similar to lagan right uh, it looked quite badass, he was very very strong and experienced, but Simon used all these little tricks man with his drills and I still can't believe how impressive Simon and Rossio fought him, man. that was really really dope. But yeah, in the end when he exited his gunman and there was that like fire, reddish fiery thing on his head man, he looked like a true monster man, he started punching the shit out of our gunman man and in the end it seemed like we were going to lose right but then simon as a last attempt uses his little key drill to pierce spiral king and it completely obliterates him and he says that his drill like overstripped his right so i don't know what exactly he meant by that that simon's drill is more powerful or that it just took over him i i, I didn't quite get it but he defeated him and i really like the little speech that simon delivered there as well like you're the wall standing in front of me and i will do what i always used to do drill right through it man so that was a perfect line of dialogue for that scene i really really appreciate that uh, nia got to speak to her father but yeah she basically confirmed what she already thought about his behavior right and pretty much she confirmed that he's a piece of shit man and i feel like she wanted to speak more to him but he just fell backwards right after he told us that warning so the warning is basically him saying uh when there is like millions of apes running the spiral world or whatever right uh, the moon will be the messenger for something like for grave danger grave destruction man. so yeah to me that seems like when we liberate more villages and more people come to the surface right literally millions that then we will like attract something like i don't know perhaps maybe even extraterrestrials right maybe like straight up aliens who knows man maybe we will attract somebody and then we will be in grave danger so yeah uh, also i forgot to mention viral <laughs> uh, he got bitched by simon it was so weird seeing how 
um, Simon was able to handle him with this, considering that at the beginning Viral was like the biggest threat to us and we basically had this rivalry against him but then we realized that humans are actually superior to beastmen right once spiral king told that to viral this whole world shattered man so yeah but there is a chance that we might see him again viral isn't dead um and i have to mention the battles of course many sacrifices on our side as well it was pretty sad and also pretty hyped. It's such a roller coaster, just like it was from the very first episode. Shout out to everyone on our crew, Liron, right, Kitan and his sisters, the kids, the crazy dude that likes to bomb shit and launch missiles, Daigren, right, how they defeated Sitomander and uh, Guame. Simon was actually responsible for that. But yeah, uh, Daigurin's attack on Sitomander was so satisfying because Sitomander was basically hyping up his gunman, right? He's like, oh, I will show you Ace up my sleeve, I will show you what I can do finally, and he got freaking destroyed instantly by Daigurin, that was so dope, so... Yeah, I guess I'm ready for, for the next episode, guys, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's begin. Alright guys, everything is ready, let us begin. And we are going to skip the intro, let's not forget about that. By the way, I'm sorry for my voice, I'm, I'm a little bit sick, so it almost feels like hard to, to talk, I never felt like this. The court really. Yeah, he was painting it as, like he was protecting it. What is this place? ゲタ謎の一つにここじいの正体がある。出自として作られた獣人で、それで似合う体がある。というところで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、
It's all described from that word, man. あなた方は何で政府に残ってるんですか会議の旅にそうやって踏んぞり返ってそれが仕事ですか水に合わないと三点が引くだけでしょよっぽど潔いいい加減にしろいやこれは本当に危険です人民局への指示バリンボーも今
remnants of the beastmen are anti-government organization, right? And I guess they're causing trouble and they're like sort of, in a sense, like terrorists or something right now. I fucking knew it that he will be relevant again. The Hagen knockoffs. Now he's searching for Simon, of course. Wait, who is that? <laughs> it's two of the kids! Yo, be careful. Real is more experienced than them. I mean, can keep up, man, with our advanced technology. Wow. He still can't accept it. That humans are like superior to him, right? I kind of love Hero, man. I I do, bro. He's a very interesting character. He's very prideful and he wants to be to fight Simon again. Yeah, he's... To protect them. He wanted to live underground. Interesting. 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 <laughs> What is that? New piece of wisdom humanity is acquired. You are going to jail. Ooh. So Rossi knew about that, but Simon didn't. I don't think it is. Exactly, I was about to say, what a parallel man, and I like that Rosio is involved. I understand nothing. Oh, so wait, 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 wait. wait. He, was, he is basically saying that people live out of sight, we won't be able to maintain an accurate census so rossio is really stuck on that one million number right that spiral king mentioned i didn't think like straight one million exactly right but maybe once there is one million people something will be triggered or i i, I know, i'm not sure like how does it work but yeah it was 50 people in his village right that those two kids came from as well what a nice parallel to how he lived in his village, man. They were worshipping Godman with that priest with this technology. Your dream is finally about to come true. No, I don't want a special fraction of... Younger generation, oh my god. Are they going to oppose Simon? Rossio, dude. Oh god. Okay, so we will have some internal disputes as well. Their like methods and goals are not gonna be aligned. What a beautiful sight. Yep, Buddha is the same. I'm sorry, this episode is too much already. Wait, what if it's a millionth person? As she is looking at the... I think that's the number. Oh my god, I was right. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Holy shit, that laser, bro. Oh my god, the whole town will get destroyed. The moon. It's like the moon is expanding. It's like it's falling towards the earth. Wait, what the fuck? What is happening to Mia?
It's literally something from the moon. It disappeared. Oh my god, did she put like. Controlled or. Pulled somewhere or what the fuck? <laughs> I'm afraid for them. This is not something that they saw before. It's something out of this planet. Oh my god! Barrier! It's blocking everything. Bro, they are getting wiped. I mean, this is their first time fighting this thing, they don't know what to expect. I don't know. They did what? They disposed of all the gunmans. What are... Grappa... Grappa... Kinon, is that one of his sisters as well? Oh my god, I'm worried for them. No, please. Wait, some, somebody blocked it. Yo, <laughs> it's Simon, bro, let's go. <laughs> that is our number one job. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Faceless bastard. Yeah, there is no face on that machine. Keep taking the easy way. It's not from this world. I think up energy. Oh shit. Here we go. Let's go, Simon. Will he be able to pierce that shield? Wow. Okay, so it's not some sort of impenetrable shield. Oh my god, the destruction will be crazy. God knows how many victims they were. Yo, we're gonna find out what happened to Nia. Bro, that looks super creepy. She's being controlled or something, for sure. Well, power danger level 2! <laughs> That's probably 1 million people, right? <laughs> idea, bro! It's because he's Spiral's, uh, Spiral King's daughter, isn't it? That episode was so much to take in, man. Holy shit, where do I even begin, guys? First of all, the 7 years time skip, man. But also... At the same time, it makes sense after the defeat of Spiral King, right? And who's gonna be main threat, right? So in seven years, they built this whole city. They advanced so fast when it comes to technology and machines, man. They are even saying that gunmen are no longer like the main thing, but those new things, grapparts or whatever. I still can pronounce that word. So Rossio. Is not thinking in the same direction as Simon. They grew older, right? They grew wiser, but they also grew like apart when it comes to the thought process and the unity is no longer there, right? It was kind of easy when they were like a group of survivors trying to rebel and fight against this like force that's oppressing them and not allowing them to go to the surface, right? It was much easier. I mean, I'm not meaning in that sense, right? But it was easier to work together and be united, right? But now that they have to lead, right? And 
maintain peace and take care of everything like simon is literally like they said supreme commander it's like he's it's like the president of this place man it's crazy bro i was so proud of them but now after watching this episode man it's gonna be tougher than ever so the writing of this show is so fucking good as well man i like how rossius village had 50 people limit right everything about that they get exiled and that's what Rossio was trying to do on a much larger scale. He was keeping close eye, he was keeping tabs on humanity's exact number. And that it's pretty interesting that Diaka's child and Kitten's sister child is number one million, right? And whatever those creatures are, anti spiral right like organization they had a system in place that alerts them when there is one million people on the planet right that means that spiral danger level raised to level two so that also is telling me that whoever that is is quite powerful but also if they're doing this and taking this so seriously, they're afraid of humans' potential, man. So there is that to keep in mind. So there is a for sure a way that we can be threat to them, which is good. But Nia having those marks on her, like I wonder if that's only for those who have Lord Genomes or whatever his name, Spiral King's name was, his blood, right? His children. Is only him and his family connected and are being able uh, the others are being able to control them right and speak through them so it's definitely some aliens or humanity that left this spiral world and advanced somewhere else man or something but that wouldn't make that much sense to be honest so yeah what can i say what an insane episode hopefully they get out of this situation pretty fast they 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 are able to bring nia back because what a shitty timing just as she was learning the news about the childbirth right and she was looking at her ring perhaps even thinking about starting family with simon right and that shit happens so yeah the fact that she was alone there and that happened at that exact time i freaking knew it that it has to be connected to Nia that she will be affected by that man. And we have one more episode, so let's go. Here we go. Man, that shit started descending. It looked like some sort of like that we're living in that like gacha machine and it's coming to pick us up or something. This parallel races. Races. Humanity annihilation system. Annihilation system. So races. There is multiple races. Like bending together. Right humans. What was that? Whoa, that was quite ominous, that bub bub, right? Like a heartbeat. We are clearly dealing with some aliens or something, man. Yeah, it's completely new. Everything is new. The fighting system, the communication system, everything. I'm afraid it is. Oh yeah, people will have some uh, questions for this, yeah, of course. They want the, the repairs in their houses and everything. Of course it's gonna be chaos. Good pitching, let us do our job. Dude, he's too. 
What is Rosio doing? Was that that we saw? Be a computer? So, what we saw earlier was he's doing. Is he creating some sort of new life form? Oh my god, is Rosio. Lord Genome, he is trying to. Bro. Oh my god, it's only his head. Bro, Rossio is crazy. So he had his head. There's old guy Coco. Oh, that's sad. She's not there. That's why he looks so down. So she didn't return? <laughs> Dude, her message. Shit, bro. Definitely not. If it was Rossio's preview, oh my god. I hate seeing them in this situation. I mean, that makes sense. I understand them. But the big battle is literally coming. Oh, shit. Doesn't want them to change. All those faces, man. Just like Aya and even that big thing. It's like in Russia's village they worship the face, right? Of a god. Which was a god. Definitely not. It's looked terrified. Don't He's trying to reassure them that it's gonna be fine. I mean, Nia is missing. The town look, looks pretty cool though. <laughs> look at Guren in the same pose. Buta is with him. She was clearly being manipulated. Those marks on her body connected her to that system. Which is having to do something with Spiral King, obviously. Ain't no way. Nia. Oh my god, I don't like her expression. It's still not Nia. There is no, no like the cross in her eyes. You look at this shot of Nia. Rossio. Holy shit. So this is the moment that he awakes. No personality. Oh shit. <笑>あなたの若く決して愛入れることはできない。Bro, what the fuck are they doing with her? Her symbol of the spiral nemesis that they are afraid of. Power of evolution? Called the DNA encompasses that takes spiral shape. Infinite levels by spiral power. Holy shit! Oh my god! Yo, so he was telling the truth. <gasps> is, that, is that little like uh, armadillo guy, right? One of the four generals. 
Guame or Guame, right? So he was literally telling the truth. That in a fucked up way he was trying to protect humanity. Wow! They were all weapons to fight anti spirals. One of our most powerful weapons. I was about to say they probably lost badly. There was multiple versions that they went. That's what we witnessed. He was literally saying the truth. Just what was happening in his village. Yep. Just like Camilla and Simon. You can never stop people's curiosity and the dirge for freedom.私のように層を封じ込める強い意志がない限りはな。部屋、それでも貴様たちの犯行には血が騒いだ。わお。螺旋翼の怖さです。あの老人の娘。戦いがそんなことだったなんて。ああ、ないね。たった7年で人間たち
Our energy field kept, that's blocking the attacks. But Simon was able to pierce it. そんなに不安定な分子構造をしてるのかそのほうが空間転移させやすいんじゃないのどいつらもどうしたんだよ出てるのまたパケスバイゴンいつそう so dangerous yeah it seems like only Simon can do it it actually blocked him this time no, and the people will see Simon he was about almost crush them and if you destroy it it was a large explo bunch of large explosions so is Rossio no longer operating like Lagan at all okay but there is another one Simon is putting in work, man. Let's go. Nice. Oh, few of them passed. I saw them. They're close. Bruh. And they will keep sending those for three weeks until the moon literally comes in this boy's earth. Might be more and more. No. They're hating on Simon. The people are protesting. Yo, <laughs> this show is so fucking good, man. Like these two episodes completely shocked me, man. With how different it's like another anime, man, but. Oh, it has come to this, hey? I really like that moment, man. Saoki,広がらなければいいのですが。広がるさ。人々の衝動が。今回はそれをつけなきゃいけない。それが政治だ。We will take the responsibility for this. They're gonna blame it on Simon. アンチスパイラル。何者なんだ。<laughs> Oof, I can say that I didn't see this coming. Bro, even from the last episode as well. Holy shit, guys. This is so good, man. Gurren Lagan, pre episode 17, felt like a completely different anime than it is right now, man. But I'm so excited for this, man. Worried, excited. Uh, hyped, uh, like scared. There is so many things going on, bro, that it was hard to process all of this, man. Uh, I will definitely watch these two episodes again later on when I lay into my bed. I will let them play, man, and see and try to absorb everything, man. It's still so fucking crazy to me, bro. I was trying to take all of this in, so. Okay, we have the anti-spiral races, and Rossiu found Spiral King's body, and he managed to like bio, do some bioengineering or whatever, and he used his head to recreate like his thought process, his brain, right, to make his brain function again, but he removed the personality, so. It's not like he's literally reviving Spiral King who will be like refusing to talk and be like mad or something. Uh, he was literally telling everything how it is, right? He 
he didn't tell us the whole thing. He only hinted with that message about the moon, right? And Hill's messenger. But we, we straight up found out that he was fighting anti-spirals. They lost badly. And he decided to keep humanity underground with brutal methods. And all those gunmen, they were created to fight anti-spirals. But even with the power of drill of the spirals, Spiral King lost with such huge force of gunmen as well. So he decided to lay it low and hide people underground so that the system wouldn't get triggered. The human uh, annihilation system, right? That is supposed to wipe out the whole humanity, man. That's why I'm saying it's like a totally different anime. In the first half, we were literally fighting for freedom and for rebellion. We were rebelling right against this, like, at first seemingly very evil guy, right? Who is oppressing, oppressing humanity. And in reality, he was still pretty fucked up, dude. Especially what he was doing to his children and all of that, right? But also... He was in, a, in his way trying to protect the planet, man. But as I said, you can't, you can't ever, like, no matter the era, no matter uh, what period it is, is it like 500 years in the past or in the future, humanity will always be curious and will have this, like, uh, appetite for freedom, man. That's something that will never, never be not the case. That will never be... Uh, Fire that will never be extinguished, right? In humans. So I really like that. And it's kind of crazy, man. Because we had show like that, right? With Kamina and Simon fighting for freedom, getting to go to the surface, right? It was such a nice feeling. And like similar vibes to Attack on Titan, right? When we first went out. Uh, outside the walls and we reached the ocean and all of that right and everything seemed so great until we discovered the the, the sad truth and the re reality of the outside world right so it's similar to that man and now we are like transitioning the, into something completely different man we had a time skip with all of these characters getting so mature they were already forced to mature during due to their lifestyles right? they were forced to become adults as kids but now even after seven years even though they're still young they're already like so mature and smart and wise right that they're able to run the country and they're even like some of them are having children like Daya kind it's ironic that his child was number one million that triggered the annihilation system and I hate that Nia has that anti-spiral DNA or whatever inside of her so once that's triggered she can no longer be human bro don't do them dirty like that bro Simon and Nia don't deserve that shit man when she said that she's like incompatible with Simon now it also kind of ties to what they were discussing about living together and being one being as well right and so that had a double meaning, bro, and it was quite sad to, to see that shit, bro. Like, Simon already lost such an important person to him coming up, bro, but if he loses Nia, man, that would be too much. That would be too freaking much. But then again, how do we save her, man? We still don't know much, despite having this type of technology and Liron and all that modern, like, computers and technology to analyze things it's still such a short period three weeks until the moon crashes into the earth man. so that's how they plan to destroy us to literally crash moon to earth man. that's insane also their technology is quite tricky right those machines that look like those clothes from gacha machines they have quite annoying defense with those like special barriers that are hard to pierce even Simon was struggling but it looks like only him only Gurren Lagan can pierce through those and if you destroy there is a bunch of these like geometry uh, I, uh, objects right flying down and it's basically like bombardment they are exploding so they were shooting them in the air not to cause damage and we see the people 
immediately protesting, throwing rocks at Rossio. That's it when he paused, when the time froze for a second, and he was like, oh shit, we really have come to this right now, right? It feels unreal, because they were fighting for freedom, for the benefit of all humanity, man, and now this is happening, man. The people are angry with them. But honestly, what the fuck could they do, man? What the fuck could they do to prevent that? So in a sense, those people still wanting to live right below Earth, that Viral was trying to help them, would actually help the system not to get triggered, human annihilation system, right? It's quite ironic, isn't it? That now it's better for humans to go down there, right? But that's not, that's not true peace, man. That's still... That's still something that my boy Kamina would be heavily against, man. We all know what Kamina would do, bro. He would fucking fight these anti-spirals, man. Without a doubt, man. And I think that's the key as well. We have to defeat them and finally live in true peace, man. But, considering that Spiral King lost with all those gunmen and technology, yeah, we are supposed to have, like, some better technology right now. It's crazy that they disposed of the gunmen for all the other Kitan and the others, man. That's kind of wild to me. But they have these new machines, right? Grapples or whatever. Grapples. So, we will see how that goes. But, yeah, since I saw Rossio, like from the half of the previous episode, I, I realized that he will definitely not be on the same, like, wavelength is Simon and he's now putting him under arrest so when he said somebody will have to take responsibility and to show people that we are uh, taking this seriously and showing them that they are like arresting Simon right they will that will put them maybe ease but I'm not sure if I like that if I like that development from Rossio man I hope they will resolve it peacefully and that they will have conversation or something, man. It was it was so fucking good. Also, Yoko is nowhere to be found. We saw her going by herself, man. So I can see, I can see, of course, our girl Yoko getting back and being involved. She will definitely hear about this. She will see the news or she will hear the explosions or whatever, seeing those mechas from the sky, right? And I wouldn't be surprised if she, if they place Simon under arrest and then Yoko shows up and gets him out or something like that, right? That's definitely, there is definitely potential for that, so. Like, I have no words, man. It's so different than before, but it's also so good at the same time and I'm looking forward to more. So, I will end it here for today. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment. All that good stuff as always, check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See you again.